What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach Desjardins. I'm an owner and operator of a small HVAC company based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Now I like to make videos on installs, replacements, service, basically anything that has to do with heating and air conditioning. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. Now in this video, it's gonna be a continuation on the Q&A where I kinda of go through and answer some of your guys' questions. Now the first question I have for you comes from Nicholas Rendon. I hope I pronounced that right. He said, uh, what made you decide that you wanted to do what you do. Well, basically, I've kind of been in the construction side of things my whole life. My dad owned his own company. He was a general contractor slash painter. So I was always kind of in the field of new construction or construction itself. And then once I got out of high school, I actually kind of fell into a job working for a custom home builder. And he taught me how to do heating and air conditioning on his homes, as well as a lot of other stuff as well. But um, I was there for maybe only six months and realized I like HVAC. I think it's a cool trade. Um, I think it's something that keeps you on your toes. You're, you're going somewhere new all the time, and I really love that. So, um, yeah, I just kind of jumped on to a, an actual service company in, uh, in Nashville and worked for them and then so on and so on. So that's kind of how it fell into place for me. Um, I didn't really go searching for it. just kind of fell in my lap. Uh, the next question comes from Joe Glenn. He says, uh, how do you like your digital gauges compared to your old manifolds? Uh, just your old, um, you know, analog manifolds. Man, I'll tell you what, once I switched over to the digital world, I, there's no way I can go back. I mean, I still have a, an analog set just in case, um, but they stay at the shop. I don't even keep them on my truck anymore. So um, I actually keep two different sets of digital gauges, if you will. I have the wireless probes that stay in one of my veto bags. And then I have the full set of like the, the S, uh, I think it's the 380V that I have for a field piece. I just think they're great, right? You can, you can collect so much data very quickly and it's all put into one place for you so you could do your job just really efficiently. And I just love that. I mean, I'm, I'm big on tools anyway, so um, I just really enjoy having those tools with me. Uh, it's kind of cool to go back to analog gauges every once in a while just to kind of get that old style feel. Um, but I'm a digital guy all the way, so that's kind of what I use for day to day. As far as brand on the digital gauges, I've only used Field Piece. I haven't used any other brand. Uh, but I did notice that Testo just came out with their new version. I think there's a set that doesn't even have any type of display on it. Um, but they're very small and compact, and I do like that compared to the Field Piece that are a much larger display. You know, I think there's pros and cons to each brand, but I'm pretty much invested in the field piece, again, with all the wireless probes and all of that, but I may try out the Testos as well because I use the Measure Quick app anyway, and you can use whatever brand tool you want to bring in that information. So um, I've been looking at the Testos recently. I think I'm gonna try those out. Okay, so the next question I've got for you comes from Brandon Price. And um, he asked, how do you tell the difference between the copper tubing without actually measuring it? Like, how do you know what size it is just by looking at it? And you know, that kind of goes back to your experience, right? Over time, you can just look at it and see what size it is without even taking out a tape measure. But you know, when you're first starting out, obviously get out your tape measure and measure the outside diameter because in refrigeration, that's what we deal with. Um, so you'll see the quarter inch or the three eighths or the half inch, whatever it is, right? And then over time, you just get used to knowing by eyeball what size it is. All right, so the next question comes from Leonardo uh, Corillo. I hope that's pronouncing right. Sorry if I'm butchering that, man. He asked, um, if you couldn't have been in the HVAC field, what other trade would you have considered? Now, I would say um, I like woodworking. I like framing, building things. So I might get into, get into the more of like the woodworking side of things. Um, I like electrical work too. I think that's pretty cool. So maybe, you know, getting into the electrician side of things. Um, I don't know, man, that's, that's a kind of a cool question, but I mean, I'm just such a diehard HVAC guy, but I would probably le lean towards um, woodworking. I'm pretty sure that's a trade, a skilled trade, right? So I would say woodworking or maybe an electrician. All right, so the last question that I'm gonna answer for you guys today comes from Kev the Realist. And he asks, is having an EPA license important in the HVAC field? And I would say 100% yes. Now, I believe the company you're working for can hold that license to where you don't have to have it as a technician, but I'm a big fan of getting your own certifications, you know, going out there and doing it for yourself, right? Because let's say you decide to move to another company. If you, 
create more value within yourself. Like you go to another company and you have those certifications, you are gonna be more valuable to those companies. That's a skill set. Taking those tests, having those certifications is something that you should have under your belt and don't rely on the company that you're working for. That's just kind of my two cents on that, but you know, you could do whatever you'd like, obviously, but I would say get that stuff yourself, get certified, and um, you know, just create more value for yourself. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You got something out of it. Hit that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. Woo!